Integrated design, I think, a lot of times has become uh, a term that's been used for a holistic approach to architecture. I like to call it simultaneous thinking. Integrated design means working as a family. It means every member of the team has an equal contribution. Integrated design, to me personally, is the process of collective innovation. I think clients are looking for, you know, a bit of magic. And, and, and as architects, we're coached within this fantastic studio, within this laboratory, we're building models and we're thinking about um, problems, the possibility that we, that we might think about how this lateral thinking in some way unlocks value for our clients. I think one of the great things about schools today is almost every school is really concentrating on the ideas of architecture but the problem solving of architecture. They don't teach people what to think, they teach them how to think. It's really one of the things that I think a great school, particularly like Harvard, likes to, to really work through with their students. RMGM are international architects. And we have projects in the Far East, in the Middle East and in Eastern Europe. And we share a common issue, the issue of working with local designers who must become part of an integrated design team to produce something that's truly one design. Designing here in, 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 in the Middle East, there always has to be a strong cultural connection. They're very proud of the region and it's very, very important for architects to be closely connected to that, that, uh, that culture. At RMGM, we're, we're trying to st stimulate thinking out with architecture. We're passionate about design, we're passionate about architecture, and it's about coming together, working dynamically um, well, as a group. We're here today at the Falkirk Wheel, the world's first and only rotating boat lift, a fine example of integrated working. All members of the design team, engineers and architects, were able to create something which is more than engineering. It's art and engineering combined celebrating the connection of the Millennium Link across Scotland. One example of integrated design in Dubai is the Emirates Towers. Completed in the year 2000, the project has set a new standard of sophistication and design excellence for Dubai and in the region. RM James' design of the 55,000 meter squared University Town Library in Shenzhen, China is a good example. It integrates the resources of three university campuses under one roof reaching out to the academic community as well as the general public. I think the Harvard RMJM program is exciting because it's really making and institutionalizing a proactive approach to architecture. We are now empowered to envision what can be and we want to bring a value-added place to that kind of envision. We share a common interest in process. A process which allows architecture to produce the highest quality through integrated working. Thank mm -hmm. you.